So we, we just uh, found out about GE's new power-up uh, industrial internet technology for the for wind turbines, uh, especially for the GE Brilliant wind turbine. Uh, we'll start off with a fun question. I've always wondered who came up with that name, Brilliant Wind Turbine. It really stands out as a different sort of name, very British, of course. Yeah, it's it's really brilliant, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. We GE launched a whole Brilliant Machines uh, platform, maybe. Uh, almost a year ago, and the whole concept is if you have machines that are able to talk to each other, able to communicate with each other, and then work in with people and let them know uh, what's going on with them, how they can be improved, that's what a brilliant machine is. So a brilliant wind turbine is you take a wind turbine, you put a monitoring system on it so that the turbine can talk to its neighbors and see how it's running. It can self-diagnose itself to see how it's running versus set points. It can check the whole park, make sure the park is doing what the customer needs it to do. That's what a brilliant turbine is. Right. Yeah, we've uh, we're we're thrilled about this uh, technology. Yeah, that's cool. And you add in battery. And do you power. know? You add in battery power, and then you've got a turbine that can ride through when the wind doesn't blow. The fundamental question of wind is, what do you do when it stops? And battery power can help that ride through. That's brilliant. Too. Yeah, definitely. Um, and something we, we write about a lot and we hear about a lot is capacity factor. Uh, and a lot of people still have capacity fac average capacity factor for wind turbines stuck in their head from you know five years ago or something. Uh, what is with the new power up uh, industrial internet technology and GE's brilliant wind turbine? What what do you think your average capacity factor is getting up to now? You know, I think the, the thing about power up, which is you know, our, our launch of a variety of software and hardware improvements that just together optimize the annual energy production. Everybody's capacity factor is different across the U.S. It's hard across the world. We just look at power up and say, we can give you 5% more annual energy production out of your equipment. It's a simple thing. And when you look at the math, you know, when the wind the wind's, wind's free, so the fuel's free, 5% more AEP can increase the customer's uh, profits by over 20%. So it's a huge leverage on that on that power-up technology. Yeah, We're really are, excited. These are some staggering uh, results, exciting to hear. Um, with the, the Brilliant Turbine, the storage, we've heard about similar kinds of things happening uh, with uh, some other wind turbine companies, but I haven't heard about anything quite like power up uh, are you uh, are you feeling like you're you're going to get a big boost in the market with this uh, like yeah, you know, we sure we sure hope so I mean, <laughs> power up power up you know for years we've sold software improvements you know we sold, we sold them you know by the drink we do a wind boost where we run the equipment a little faster different types of technologies that improve the blade aerodynamics, different things we can do in low wind technology and the knee of the power curve. We sold those onesie twosie to customers and we've been very successful and we're pleased. What Power Up does is say, look, let's have a relationship, a partnership between us and the customer and we will deliver an optimized and customized solution for that wind farm, for that turbine. Let us figure out what types of software and hardware would be best for it. And then the customer just pays as they see the reality of those improvements hit their bottom line. So, you know, we contract with customers to pay for energy. You know, it's not for this product or that product. Powering up their equipment is really just giving them more energy and then they pay for it when they see it. Excellent. And I, I've seen that sort of like Tesla does, you plan to roll out hardware, I think, and software improvements, updates as they as right. you develop them. Exactly. You so know, that's what's cool. That's what's cool about it, Zach, is that you know when you when you when you buy power up, you go into that partnership with the with GE's renewables business, you know, we're developing new stuff all the time. We have things in development that are really exciting and really not quite ready for mines and machines this year, but we'll probably be talking about them next year. So when you enter into that relationship as a partnership, when we come up with new ideas, we have an installed base and customers un under this power-up contract that we can start to have beta trials immediately to get that stuff from the workshop out to the wind farm faster. That's what it's all about. You now we, we started a focused effort on power-up 60 days ago. And now we're launching it at Minds and Machines. We're wow. excited. We have our launch customer that we have a verbal agreement with we got this morning 
people are really excited about that. So, you know, we're off and running. Wow, so you just got the verbal agreement we on this. We just got our first, our first customer verbally agreed to the whole product this morning at the show. So that's excellent. I mean, really I would cool. if I was, <laughs> it's really cool. if I was in that position. Um, so right now, initially, the, you're looking at a fi- up to 5% output uh, improvement uh, with a specific wind turbine. Uh, what Do you have any estimate or projection or target for what you'd be at in one year? Yeah, you know, some of this stuff takes a little while to test, right? When you do some of our products around, say, auto-tuning, where you take a machine that was set in the factory for a certain condition, and then you tune it at least seasonally, but maybe moving to an auto-tune, that thing takes a while. We run a bunch of designs of experiments. It takes a while to validate it. So, you know, when you buy power up, some stuff just bang happens the next day because we can push a software upgrade that helps the machine run harder and get more output. Some stuff takes a little longer to validate. And that's one of the key things in the product is, hey, we have time. We have this relationship with the client where we're in for the long haul. If it takes a year to validate the seasonal tuning, it's totally okay. You know, we, we're in a, in a long-term relationship to optimize the equipment. Excellent. Very exciting for me. Uh, one last time, what's your full name and title with GE? Yeah, my name is Andy Holt, and I'm the uh, general manager of Renewables Projects and Services. Excellent. Thank you.